welcome back to the channel folks this is day four of the Pico's Playtime Tour and we're now heading out onto the twisties 28 degrees incredible roads welcome to the Pico's time to meet your mojo <laughs> everyone eats the breakfast this morning because <laughs> <laughs> the pace is perfect hiya Nice town Lugo, wasn't it? One of these Roman walled city type places and the original wall is still there. I washed my base layers last night. Absolutely horrendous, bogging after four days. Have a look at this water. That is perfect. And they're still a little bit moist, but I will. Let's hit the road. Yeah, have a quick breather. <laughs> <laughs> Road. Still LU530. Fucking amazing. Oh, what a view. What a view. We've been joined by a white van and um, I think we're holding them up. <laughs> <laughs> and look what we're back onto. This is alright, boys, isn't it? Lovely. Lovely sweeping roads, these. Beautiful surface. Hardly any traffic. Glorious weather. Why wouldn't you? Oh, look, look at Mike, look, clinical lines. You might have seen there, Steve's wearing the vest of shame. Shall I tell you why? Came through a little bit of roadworks at the side of the road. Steve managed to uh, collect not one, but two traffic cones with his panniers. They weren't happy. They were not happy. So yeah, it's a bit of a self-appointed vest of shape. AS27, this one. The bed. Oh, look at that. This is the Picos I remember. Oh yes. Tell you what, this will teach you how to trail brake by the end of today. <laughs> You'll have it down to a fine art. You feel like you're in the middle of nowhere, don't you? And then all of a sudden you come through a village and there's <laughs> civilization. Loads of bikes coming. Tell you what, Luke, got some good footage, mate. Got some good footage of it. <laughs> I tell you what, you cannot get bored on this road. Hey, I was just sitting here thinking. Everyone eats for breakfast this morning. Because <laughs> <laughs> the pace is perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's definitely picked up, hasn't it? Yeah. I think a couple of days of sort of wet, moist roads has sort of settled yeah. people in, isn't it? And they've got the confidence. Yeah. It's time to meet your mojo. <laughs> and we're now on the AS12. This is one of my most favourite roads. This is fantastic. This will take you all the way to the coast in the north. Uh, BMWs sell more GSs than Ducati sell motorcycles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. It's been the top selling, well, I don't think it has for the last year or two, but certainly in the couple of decades before that, since Long Way Round, it's the top selling big bike in the world by something like 15 times or something. It's ridiculous. The sales seems like you say a bit stratospheric, but would everybody be on a KTM? Because of you in a Charlie, you know what I mean? I don't know though, I mean BMW, cheers. BMW had um, the sort of global network there for support. KTM didn't. I kind of think yeah. it's, it's probably the right decision at the time for KTM. Yeah. It, it probably would have done more harm than good if, because yeah. the, even the GS has had issues. I think they went through like five bikes, but they had the global support to accommodate that. And off we go. Hiya. So what did you boys go for for lunch in the end? Ham and cheese, toasty. 
<laughs> they're learning, they're learning. And he won't lose any weight on this tour, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> food. Now the best bit was it's free. Milky bought the thing, so if we're still on <laughs> video, thanks uh, Milky for the dinner. What, Milky bought your lunch? Yeah. Bloody typical. Yeah. When I don't have any, he buys lunch. Well, well that's what he said. <laughs> See, it's proof of Simon ain't in here. I'll buy lunch. It's cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very nice man he is too. Good lad. Good I'll, lad. I'll take all them things I've been saying about him over the last three days. I'll take them all back. Can you imagine waking up every morning looking out your window at that view? I mean, that is just... Beautiful, mental. isn't it? Look at this. Pretty special. It's the first time I've done this in the dry, I think. It's normally peeing it down. Don't give it a kiss of death, mate, please. <laughs> AS14 folks, phenomenal road. So many different types of road and landscape to go through. Don't overstep that corner and end up in the bar. How can you not enjoy this? AS15 Been like it all day, has not stopped all day. I love these roads that sort of run through the canyons, run down the side of the mountain through the valley. Mint, just mint. AS227, wow. Picos, wow. AS265. What a gorgeous little village. Look at this. <laughs> Look at that. The face only a mother could love. Meet its ugly brother. What does it say about bikes looking like their owners? <laughs> <laughs> this is why you want to see the rear. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! The mountain goat we are there trying to get up to get a decent picture. What's your memento for today's ride? Don't know yet. I think I've not had it yet. <laughs> we'll see. You'll wait till the inspiration grabs you. Yes. To be fair, a bug on the visor is not quite two traffic cones in a sign, is it? No. You know. No, that was yesterday's <laughs> alley. Now I want to do some more. Beautiful. <laughs> do it. 
It's just been a full day of it. It's not stopped all day. Every single one's been a winner. Morning folks, this is day five of the Pico's Playtime Tour. Stayed in Oviedo last night, caused utter mayhem, but we had a giggle. <laughs> we drank whatever they gave us, and uh, we're back on the road. And it's more of that, up into them there mountains, twisty time. Look at that, to the right, what a view. All right, you left the right now. How are your panniers, Al? A few more minutes and they'll be done. <laughs> Look at this, straight into this, beautiful. Wow. Then it just it's all my long it's gorgeous, it's isn't it? Good way to get your rocks off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh. <laughs> into the tight nagery stuff. Yeah, it is, and the um, road surface ain't best near then, so take the time. You make me laugh, Dale. Do you ever ride in England? This is beautiful compared to what I normally ride on. Well, yeah, you're right. <laughs> oh, come on, mate. I can skip faster than this. We're doing 8K. He's probably about 906. He is, yeah, he is. I, I mean, he's like my nan's younger brother or something. This exhaust does sound good. Really bedded in now. Got a lovely pop and gurgle. What a road. Yes, yes. Now I am still running these Michelin Dunlop Road Smart 4s on here. They're definitely a slower acting tyre to me. The, the bike's slower to turn than even it was with the Dunlop Mutants and Meridians. I love those tyres, genuinely really, really loved. These ones, the Roadsmart 4s, in the wet, I've not had a single whoopsie moment. Nothing at all. Rock solid. But in the dry, they're just a little bit too slow to turn for me. I like a quicker acting tyre, I think. Look at this coming up. Look at that. <laughs> wow. That is insane. build a straight line when you can do some ziggy ziggy zags. This is definitely Spice Girls Road, isn't it? <laughs> Ziggy zig zag. Oh dear, Dale. Oh dear. <laughs> Dale, Dale. <laughs> Dale. Thank you, no worries. Oh, somebody else coming through. Sorry, boys, didn't see you. Oh, 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 That's how you do it, Milky. That's how you get around the corner. So who'd have guessed a Pan America would be up there and not... Uh... <laughs> right, the panic's over. 
we've dealt with everything. So his bike's being recovered, sadly, uh, he's got a punctured radiator. He's going to jump on the back with me to the hotel. So we'll have a little chat, but he's definitely on the vest of shame. I'm like Chewbacca in Star Wars. I'll try not to scare the sh Jesus out of you. Don't worry, George, I've got my eyes closed. <laughs> me too. <laughs> Boy, that was my foot, you know. We're, we're a bit lower to the ground now. <laughs> right, we're off the goat track, folks. And we're back onto this one, the N625. Heading up towards the deer statue and then Potes. Beautiful. Just beautiful. It certainly is. I think this is my slowest ever run up here. <laughs> so, it's for that. <laughs> I tell you what, I don't know how people go careering around with pillions on the back on these things. I've got mates that cane it. They go every bit as fast as we do with a, like the missus yeah. sat on the back. Glad to hear. Stunning, isn't it? Hey, mate. If you want to kiss Thanks. the ground. <laughs> Sorry mate, that's uh, 17 stone there for you. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little bit different, yeah. So mate, right, no pressure, obviously. Genuinely, have you enjoyed this week? Uh, the whole group, quality of riding, quality of people. Just an awesome, awesome tour. I couldn't recommend it enough. Um, that, that's not bullshit, because obviously I'm stuck at the back of your bike. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm I know. a captive audience, but it is a, that, that, that is that is the, the truthful answer. Fantastic, yeah. well, I appreciate awesome. that. This is the first time I've travelled with the tour. The expectation of it was very open-minded. There's been no dramas, obviously, until, until just now. <laughs> but, uh, awesome. Oh, my, that's brilliant to hear. Well, if you do think of anything, please let me know. Drop me a line and let me know, because... 100%. All right, this is us coming into the canyon bit, obviously. See when you've got a big long convoy of bikes coming through here on the chat, sounds lovely. Ah. Hello. <laughs> right. Bend over. <laughs> Bend over, Brucey. Oh, I see. <laughs> oh, I see. All right. You all right? On the strap, yeah. <laughs> and we're here. Whew, what a day. Need all your passports, lads. If you're going to be doing these ferries, folks, and you're doing it in a large group, and you make the mistake of organising it. Make sure you've got everybody's details. Make a note before you come so you've got reference numbers, you've got a record of everybody who's on each reference number and have their registration there as well. Makes it a whole lot easier when you're checking in. And good luck. All right, so here we are, folks. Just talking in Portsmouth, back in Blighty. We've still got Milky behind, and that is us for another year. All right, folks, hope you've enjoyed this one. It's been so good to get back to the Picos, without doubt, the best roads to ride on the planet overall. Great country, great roads, cheap as chips. The police don't care as long as you don't do it in the towns and villages. What more could you want? 24 hours on a boat, or you can ride there in about 14. Okay then folks, keep doing your thing, get on out there whenever you can, look after those that you love, but most importantly, most importantly, live your life. Woo-ha! Ah.